And welcome back to Tales from Antiquity in the Modern Age with Pragmatic Perfection. I'm your host, Austin, and I got another tale from Aesop for you. Uh, I'm not going to try to do much of a you know, preamble to it. We're just going to get right into the storytelling. The Boy Hunting Locust A boy was hunting for locusts. He had caught a goodly number when he saw a scorpion, and mistaking him for a locust, reached out his hand to take him. The scorpion, showing his sting, said, If you had but touched me, my friend, you would have lost me and all your locusts too. The End All right, well, this is a pretty short story from Aesop, but I think there's actually quite a lot to be drawn from it. Point number one, get that boy a pair of glasses, which brings me to today's sponsor, Glasses.com. If you are in need of some vision improvement, head over there right now. I'm kidding. This show does not have a sponsor yet, but it's just, you know, okay. It's a bad joke, whatever. All right, point number two is it seems to be dealing a little bit with issues of greed here. Um, Don't be greedy. The root of all evil is greed. Or so they say, or something along those lines. Now, if we can give the kid the benefit of the doubt, you might say, okay, well, like my glasses point, maybe he just didn't know. But let's assume that he did. And that he... Wait, what, 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 am, I, what am I trying to go for here? Let's say... Yes. Let's say that he actually did think the scorpion was a locust or a grasshopper, by the way, in case somebody didn't know that. So the story story here says that he had caught a goodly number. That's not me trying to be fancy with the, um, the English or the grammar. That's just how it's written here. So it's, it's stating that he's got a good amount already, but he goes for one more. You know, there's a saying that I'm sure some of you have heard that a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Well, he's already got a bird in the hand. Why is he going to go after this kid? Why is he going to go after the hypothetical second bird in the bush? Because he might lose the bird in hand while he's trying to catch that other bird. And as the the, uh, scorpion point out, yeah, you wouldn't have lost me and all your other locusts too. So that kind of brings me to a point of, okay, Greed, yeah, that's it's pretty obvious. It's not a good thing, but uh, at the same time, I think there's a, a needs to be a little bit of a differentiation between two different terms. One is let's actually read the Merriam's-Webster dictionary definition of greed, and that is a selfish, excessive desire for more of something, such as money, than is needed. Interesting definition. Now, there's another word I like to think of here, and it's ambition. Now, I've thought, okay, what's the difference between the two? Greed, it seems to be that you want something, but ambition is also a term that we use when you want something. You're ambitious. You want to go get stuff. Well, let's hop over to my next tab. I wonder if you can hear the mouse click. It's pretty faint, but... Let's let's read what Merriam's Webster Dictionary Online has to say uh, about the definition of ambition, and that is an ardent desire for rank, fame, or power. With her talent and fierce ambition, she became a very successful actress, desired to achieve a popular a particular end. So, it seems that they follow a similar frame, or. Um, purpose, but it's almost to the extent. And it, I would say that greed, it almost, it's, it's obviously it's an excess. And I would say also that it, it borders on willing to get into the, into the unethical to achieve your means. So there's another kind of anecdote that I can use, um, similar to the story from Aesop, is if you think of it, you know, a kid, let's say we got a young kid here, and there's a cookie jar. Now, let's say he wants a cookie really bad. Actually, let's say he wants a couple cookies really bad. Now, if the kid was greedy, I would say he would go and figure out a way to get access to that cookie jar. If it's up high, he'll figure out a way to get up there, and he'll stick his hand in, 
and he'll grab a whole bunch. Now, you could say at this point, uh, to tie back to the Aesop, uh, Aesop's fable, maybe he grabs so much that he can't pull his hand out. And that would be kind of his way of, of greed biting him back in the butt and uh, having a little bit of consequences that he can't pull his hand out in time when his mom uh, comes around the corner and, and catches him in the act. Okay, so maybe that's, that's a situation of greed. But I would say if a kid was ambitious, like he really wants that cookie, I would say that uh, the proper way of going about that is not being deceitful and unethical and stealing the cookies. But basically, and maybe this is way too smart for a kid, but hey, this is what I would think about. I would ask my mom if that would be in that situation. Mom, I would love a cookie. Could I have a cookie or maybe a couple cookies? She says, no, then I might come back with, well, what can I do to um, earn a cookie? Because maybe I, maybe you don't feel like just giving me one, but maybe is there a way I can earn it? And uh, see, the, the difference there is I'm not going to take it. I'm going to see what is there, what can I do in my power to achieve that goal, that end? Not by going around the, the, the ethical boundaries, but by staying within that but still trying to be as diligent as I can to achieve that end. And I would, I suppose that uh, technically, if it just uh, it's not meant to be, then you're willing to accept. Uh, if you come from the ambitious approach, you're willing to accept that. Okay, maybe it's not meant to work out. But I would say with greed, you're not really so willing to accept that that you're willing to do anything it takes to get what you want, and that is no good, folks. Can't have that. So that is my wax and eloquent on greed versus ambition. All from a tale from Aesop. Can't make this up. Well, technically I just did. All right, well, uh, this would technically bring me now to the – technically bring me – to the technical part of the show. I'm not really going to say anything here today. I just um, – Kind of, I got a late start to the day, so I'm, I'm trying to fit this in here quickly. So we're gonna just kind of gloss over that, but uh, and go right on to the outro. So I just want to thank you all so much for listening in. I appreciate it, and um, I also appreciate you leaving uh, feedback, ratings, uh, subscribing to the podcast, comments. All that stuff is great. It's awesome. Helps me out a ton, and it strokes my ego. So thank you for that. Um, there will be more content coming soon, so be sure to stick around, and there will be uh, more stuff very soon, and maybe even a couple new twists to the show formula. So I uh, hope to see you around, and take care, y'all. We'll see you next time.